All right, here's a, some quick introduction to this activity uh, to clarify a few things. So uh, the flooring cost. So what you're going to do is you're going to be designing the flooring in a coffee shop, all right? And uh, um, there's going to be some different areas, and you can use some different types of floorings. You're going to want to figure out where the uh, tables are, where the counter is, where the sinks are, and stuff like that. Uh, for your little coffee shop, okay? Um, and so you're going to split the floor in, any, floor in any way you want. You want to use three types of flooring, all right? So we're going three different types of flooring. That's the key, all right? You're going to use the legend off to the right here to, to draw a picture, okay? Um, and then we're going to figure out how much it all costs. So we've got to find the area of these, all right? We want to be creative and uh, uh, come up with a nice design, all right? Here's some examples of some fancy coffee shops, uh, some different ones. Notice we've got some uh, different flooring going on here, lots of different textures here. Here's kind of a cool one. We've got some uh, tile and some wood mixed in. That's a pretty cool one. Uh, here we've got some, just some different types of wood and tile it looks like. Here's a funky one, look at those seats there so the design uh, the design of a building and a floor in a shop just really adds to the appeal and improves business and uh, um, so we want to come up with something creative here all right for the coffee shop that we're looking at we might have uh, uh, some shapes like here we got a circle we've got a table you now looks like a, uh, some kind of tile or marble circle it looks like and tile around the outside. So uh, kind of some interesting design there. So, all right, so you're gonna come up with a nice flooring for this shape here. Now, um, if you can print the handout, great, print it. If not, um, then draw this on a piece of paper, make a, make a scale drawing, use a straight edge, use a ruler, use a, uh, uh, oh, a student body card or a driver's license or something like that to make it, you know, pretty accurate. Um, you're going to decide where's, where's the entryway, you know, maybe, maybe we'll have an entryway here. Here's our doors. Whoops. You know, maybe, maybe there's like a double door here. There's my double door, you know, maybe I have a, a, a section of tile here. Okay, and so this this is gonna be tile. I do this quick and sloppy, do a little better than mine. Um, maybe this section here is hardwood, and so I'm gonna use this hardwood sketching. This is how we show hardwood. Okay, with this kind of X there. Okay, maybe I have a, a counter going on over here, and so we're gonna put uh, tile over here because this is like a serving area. Okay, now you decide, all right? Uh, maybe this is a, uh, we're gonna maybe get a little creative, get some angles in there. Don't make everything rectangles. Um, if you can work in a circle, maybe we do a circle, or maybe we do a half circle, okay? And uh, uh, maybe this is carpet here. This is carpet, okay? And uh, this is uh, concrete here. This section is concrete. Then maybe this guy is, uh, uh, I don't know, hardwood again. So I'll put some hardwood in here. All right. So you decide, all right, label some lengths. Um, if you're going to cut something, you know, short length here, you know, maybe label this guy as 10 and whatever it is. Okay. Uh, this is a, this is supposed to be a half circle there or a quarter circle. Okay. So uh, then we're going to use, we're going to find the area of these things and some perimeter. All right. We need perimeter for going around the edges of them, and we need area of them because we're gonna fill them, all right? So um, it doesn't have to look anything like mine there. In fact, it shouldn't, okay? Then what you're gonna do is this. For each region, we're gonna find uh, um, the area, all right? So you can, you can kind of number them here, all right? So we can go back and we can number these. Uh, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven. Okay, and you're gonna go for each region, you're gonna find the area and the perimeter of it, okay? Um, use the formulas in the back of the book there and do that, all right? Uh, you work them out, and some of them will get a little more challenging depending on how creative you got, okay? Uh, and, and so find your perimeter, and then you probably wanna kinda 
box it and then find your area of whatever that section is, okay? Uh, write down what it is. Maybe it's hardwood or maybe it's tile, okay? Work it out. Find your perimeter. Work it out. Find your area. Okay, and then these things are going to be important because then we're going to use these perimeters and areas on the last page. And again, if, you, if you're not, not able to print this, then just write this out on a separate piece of paper. Okay, um, you're going to make up a cost sheet. Okay, and we're going to total up all of the, the hardwood. And we're going to, if you have hardwood, we'll total up all the tile. We'll total up all the, the concrete. Okay so on and so forth and what was the other one there carpet was the other one okay uh, and the prices are on this page right here there's our prices okay so we we'll use those prices and we're going to figure out what it will cost to do your flooring all right so figure out go add up all the hardwoods okay maybe it's 125 square feet and the unit price for hardwood is 580 okay uh, so that's five dollars and eighty cents and then get your total here in dollars this is dollars and then get all your totals and then figure out the total cost in the end all right what is it going to cost to do all, each of those all right, so this is a very important process for a designer, for a contractor, uh, to be able to, to find these areas, perimeters, and figure out the cost in the end there, all right? So be creative. Uh, uh, let me know where you got questions, and it's going to take a while. It's going to take, you know, uh, uh, probably a couple of hours overall, and so take your time, do it well, do it neat, and uh, in the end, we'll... Uh, uh, We'll upload this to Google Classroom and uh, uh, have a, a nice plan for a cool, sweet, modern coffee shop. All right, have fun with it, guys.